Hello and welcome to day 70 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Day 70 and today it's about paying attention to your inner nature. Hello and welcome to day 70 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Today is about paying attention to your inner nature. What does that mean? Well, you see, I believe, and I can only ever teach, and I always caveat everything by saying it's only what I believe. And what I believe is, is that we have this inner nature of ourselves. We have this best self that's sitting in our soul. But that self is, is layered with human conditioning, human socializing, human dogmas and... <clears throat> things that we've been taught that we should do all through our lives and they're great because they give you structure but what meditation has the ability to do is to come through a lot of that and to get to the true essence and nature of the inner you the real you, you the real who you are your soul that light that shines so bright inside of you and it's day 70 and we've talked about meditation in so many ways but you know, for me, it has got this ability to be able for you to sit and just be with yourself, sit with yourself and start to learn and understand who you really are. And that's really important because fundamentally, we're all the same. And prejudice is things that have, and religion and race, racism and all of these things really have been put on top of us when we started to expand, when we started to go to different countries or when we started to, you know, the British um, Commonwealth was so many places and we created all of this. But, you know, if you put six skeletons all in a row, they all look the same. And that's because your soul is the person, not the colour of your skin or your belief or your race it's what's inside you and the ability for you to be able to connect into that the inner nature of who you are is such a powerful tool for us to be able to really start to shape our lives and have that clarity of purpose and meditation for me is the key to that now meditation you know people think meditation what's meditation I just sit there with your eyes closed well yeah but there's loads of different types of meditation and it's a bit of a fashion but it's not a fashion, it's an endeavor. And things like meditation and yoga, you know, yoga means union, you know, and it's about bringing that union to the world through meditation. And that's why at the end of yoga sessions, you know, you have that period of time where you just lay down and reflect. But we have to realize that when we connect into our, uh, our, our true self, the inner nature of who we are, it can make so many different choices and decisions in our lives. And I want us to understand as well, is that when we start to understand and become our true selves, we start to get this, <coughs> excuse me, clarity of the world around us. And then we start to become more aware and we have these spiritual awakenings and we change our thought process on certain aspects of the world. And if you think about it, without the out of the world we couldn't exist you know i want you to try and exercise for me now just sit here comfortably and i want you to close your mouth okay i can't do it because i need to talk but close your mouth and then pinch your nose so you can't breathe so keep your mouth closed and hold your nose now you can do this for a few seconds and when you feel it become uncomfortable let them go but you see i can't live with everything that's not around me. So I have to find ways of interfacing with that. And if you think about it and the way we treat those things, we have our inner nature, we have our outer nature. The ability to be love and give love is fundamental to that. You know, we see all of these things happening. I'm not going to go on to a party political broadcast, but when we start to connect in with ourselves and realize that we are part of a much bigger thing, is that, you know, without trees, there is no world. We breathe out, trees breathe in. Trees breathe out, we breathe in. So if you actually worked out the half of your lungs, right, is actually in a forest, they are the world, 
I don't really see how we can cut them down. And if we start to experience things differently through that union, then things will be different. If you really experience your breath, then you truly experience the trees, the forests, the world, and the union. Somebody who talks about a tree as a piece of wood, I believe, is not worth listening to. Why? We need to experience life. We need to conclude about things. We need experience things. And, 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 and the trees play such a big, big part in our lives. And we can't live without them. And meditation is the key to inner nature. But it's to bring people to a living experience, not just an existence. And that's what we've got to do. Meditation is a consequence because we've become um, very uh, results orientated. People, somebody said once people want the mango, but they don't want the tree. You know, if you want to plant a flower in your garden, you don't meditate on the flower. You think about the flower. What you need to think about is the ground, the sun, the seeds, the water. The flower is the consequence of everything that you've done. People want the consequence, but they don't want the practice. So everybody wants to be mindful, but nobody wants to sit mindfully. Everybody wants clarity and purpose, but nobody truly connects with that inner nature. Day 70 is a bit of a lecture, but I hope it makes sense for you. What we're going to do now is a very simple, mindful meditation to allow you to connect with your inner nature. I want you to close your eyes. I'm going to put a picture up. I want you to sit in a chair. You're sat in your chair. I want you to breathe in. I want you to take three deep breaths in. And as you do, you feel yourself becoming relaxed. You feel yourself sitting in this chair. And you feel the sensations and awareness around you. And by doing so, you just be. And that being is allowing you now just to bring your awareness out to other parts. You can feel, you know, you might feel sensations in your body, you know, bring your awareness to your right shoulder. Breathe through your right shoulder. What does it feel? Do we need to loosen it? Bring it to your left shoulder. Just breathe. Do we need to loosen it? Bring it to your feet and just feel your feet on the surface of this chair. Just breathing in and out. And I'm going to count down to five now. And every time I count down, you feel yourself become more and more relaxed. And in doing so, you feel this beautiful calmness and this awareness around you of this wonderful healing light of love. One. You breathe in, you breathe out, you feel yourself calming and becoming more relaxed. Two. As you breathe in, you breathe in this beautiful spiritual air and you breathe out any negativity. Three, you breathe in forgiveness and acceptance and you breathe out any guilt or jealousy. Four, you just breathe in total relaxation and you breathe out as you feel yourself becoming so relaxed. And five, you breathe in and you feel totally relaxed. Now I just want you to bring to your awareness in your mind's eye that you're sat in a chair and in front of you is this curtain and behind it, you know, there's another chair. And I want you to sit in this chair and I want you to present behind the other curtain. I'm going to place your true inner nature, your true inner self. And we're going to ask it three very simple questions. And as I ask the questions, I want you to repeat them in your mind and then be quiet and see what the responses are. As we breathe in and we breathe out. First question, as you breathe in and you breathe out, what is my true life's purpose? What is my true life's purpose? And see if you get an answer.
As you breathe in, you ask the second question, which is how to be my best self. How can I be my best self? And finally, how can I love myself more? How can I love myself more? As we sit here now, just facing this curtain with your inner nature, your true self behind, we're just gonna raise the curtain and for the first time in your life, you may come face to face with the real you. And just sit with that energy and befriend it and understand that Realize all of the emotional feelings you feel. This is the true inner nature of who you are. Your soul is such a beautiful light. And mindfulness and meditation gives us the ability to sit with it in a way that is so powerful with our awareness. Bring your attention back into your body. Take a deep breath in. Wiggle your fingers and come back into the room. Hi. Very interesting meditation. Uh, let me know your comments. Did you hear something? Did you feel something? Did you sense something? Did you clearly get where you're going? I hope so. Day 70 is a bit of a breakthrough. Day 71 tomorrow. We're in the home straight, I think. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Be love and give love. Good morning, Julian. I love you. Good morning, Julian. I love you. Take care. Bye-bye.